In this video, we're going to talk about changing WordPress, how to manipulate your WordPress install by changing the theme, changing the plugins. We're just going to briefly talk about a few of the themes and plugins that are available to you for free that you can use to really add a lot of value to your website. Now, plugins are often overlooked as great ways to help your online business. So you just want to make sure that you keep on top of updating your plugins, maybe updating your theme, depending on what type of theme you're using. And it's very, very helpful to use WordPress for whatever, whatever you want, basically. I mean, it's a really great system. So let's head back over to our site here. And just as I log into the site there's you know there are some areas here on the left hand side this is our sidebar and these are some areas that we can use to manipulate our site here's the plugin area and then we have our appearance so the theme is currently the default theme here which is 2015 now you can use these default themes like 2014 2013 you know all I have to do is simply activate this new theme and now if I go to my site and refresh, you'll see that I now have a new style theme here all ready to go. And if I click on some of these links, you can see how that all works out. Okay. Now, if I don't want to use one of these themes, what I can do is go to the theme section and I can search either installed themes that I currently have or I can add a new theme. If I click add a new theme you can see that there's some featured themes here. Very cool. And just for the sake of this video I'll just go ahead and select one like uh, like this one for example. We'll go ahead and hit the install button. I can activate this theme and just like that, I'll refresh my, my site, go to the main URL, and you can see that I have a really nice looking theme. Now, of course, it has to be edited. This is a headline widget. It's not going to work, content, and things of that nature. But it's got a real big slider here. Uh, let's go to a sample page. You can see what it looks like. And also, it is responsive. You can see as I as I bring my browser more narrow you can see that the, the theme conforms to my browser window and that's how it's going to emulate it emulates it looking like it would on a mobile device whether it's an iPad or a very narrow cell phone alright so very important to have a mobile friendly website and we can go back to our home page and you can see here that we have just have um, a lot of different options here. When you install a new theme, sometimes, uh, for example, here we have theme settings. You'll, every theme is going to be different. So, for example, if we wanted to choose a logo image, we would just go ahead and find our logo image, upload that to our site, and it should manipulate it. So, let me go ahead and find a logo that I could use. We'll go ahead and use a PNG. Uh, I don't want one that's too big. We'll go ahead and open that. And that is a big image. But let's go ahead and set our logo. Now we can save our settings. Go back here. And you can see that we have a huge logo image there because that logo should be a little smaller. Okay, but look at the header text. Call me, maybe. If I put something like class is in session, let's save our settings. Okay, even our media, if I go to my media, let's see if I can manipulate my image here. edit more details let's see doesn't look like I can edit the size so I'd have to edit the size 
before I actually upload it. But if I refresh, you can see here it changed to classes and session. But obviously I need to change out that logo because it's it's too big. But I just wanted to show you briefly how you can edit your theme and your settings. Now a lot of times when you get a free theme, there's going to be premium uh, upgrades. So that's just part of the deal. If you know, free is only going to get you so far, but a premium update would probably work out a little bit better. So they're trying to trying to get you to buy the upgraded version. So like for example, the responsive menu here only available in the premium. So if I go to upgrade this, you can see that it's $15 to upgrade to this theme. But nevertheless, you can find really nice looking themes just by, you know, doing some searches. Let's go ahead and find one more. Let's go to a popular section. Here we go. Let's go to this one, the customizer. Let's do an activate and we'll refresh our, our window here. So you can see just like that, online marketing tutorial videos, we can add a menu. I've got some images. Look how nice that looks. And we'll check to see if it's responsive and sure enough, it's responsive. It's clean looking and it's ready for you to edit. Okay. So again, here's about customizer. We can go through all the information here. We can look at the menus and you'll notice that my other theme menu has is now gone. Now I have a customize button that I can use and you can see here that we can customize different areas of our theme. All right, so we have our header area, our design, our layout, so on and so forth. Okay, so every theme is going to be different. Uh, sometimes inside of the settings area, like for example, we currently have a tagline, just another WordPress site. You're going to want to erase any trace of there being a WordPress install on your site just by adding your own information here step by step tutorials on how to get your online business started all right we'll go ahead and save the changes you can see here where it says just another wordpress site that's the area that i just manipulated and there we go. Now I have my tagline right up here. Okay. So really cool. That's how we change themes. Now, what about plugins? Now plugins are just helpful tools that you can use uh, for your, your site. So for example, let's say we wanted a contact page and I wanted a form, a contact form, that I can use really easy to add all my information to and build out a really nice looking contact form. So I do a search for contact form and you can see that I get a bunch of different plugins that I can use that will help me with my contact form. Now some of these are the most popular. You can go by the featured contact form seven is one of the most popular. How about the recommended section? Okay, there's a variety of different plugins that are recommended. Let's go back to the popular and we'll go ahead and install this plugin. Let's activate the plugin. And now you can see that I have a contact area on my toolbar here. So, contact form, I can go edit it. Looks like there's a code here that I can put on my page. I'm going to copy that code and you can see this is what the form is going to look like. Your name, your email, your subject, your message. That's what they're going to be sending to us. Right? So let me go ahead and add a new page. We'll call this contact us. 
Let me go ahead and dismiss this. I'll click on the text button and I'll put my short code right in there. Okay. Let me go ahead and center it. And I'm going to hit publish. Now what that's going to do is create a contact page on my site. Now the only problem, it looks like this particular theme doesn't have a menu. Okay, so in order to add a menu, we have to go here to the appearance section and then the menus. Alright, so it looks like now we have home, contact us, and sample page. Alright, let's create this menu. Main menu is going to be menu 1. We'll save changes. Let's go back to our site. Let's see if we now have a menu. And just like that, you see we have a home page, contact us, and then we have that sample page. So if I hit the contact us, look at that. Just like that, I have a contact form that looks really nice, <laughs> right? It looks really nice. So, of course, you know, you have to edit your plugins. Like, for example, the settings for your plugin may require you to put in your email because that's where, you know, you want your, your contact information to be sent. Okay. Um, so you go through the, the different areas here, like setting up your mail and everything that's here right so it's just showing you exactly what you need to do it's kind of hard for me to go through all of this information because in all actuality I can make a tutorial video for every single one of these things some of them have their own tutorial videos which are really cool um, but most of them they just have documentation that you'd have to read and then that will allow you to be able to manipulate your forms so right here where it says your email you I'm assuming you would be putting your email right in there and it will send the contact information right to your email but that's just one plugin guys you can there's a ton of plugins that you can use for example um, play video let's just say you have a, a video embed thumbnail generator you can look at some of these plugins as well to see exactly what they do. Looks like this one makes little thumbnails of videos. So since I have an online marketing tutorial video site, this would probably be a good plugin for me to use. And you can look at some of the stars here. There's 27 five stars, a few one stars, probably somebody that got mad. <laughs> but you can go through these and figure out which plugin is going to be the best for you. So there's media players there's again go through all of these plugins to see which ones are the best for your business all right I hope this video was helpful I think uh, you learned a little bit about how to change the theme change some plugins and um, that pretty much wraps up our our course here on putting a website together we have a few things that we're gonna wrap up and of course I'll be adding some videos later of anything that I see, but pretty nice looking website here. And it just took me um, a hosting account, a domain name, and an installation of WordPress, and I'm up and running. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in other videos.